Josephine. Josephine, pray them by Oh. Talk. Hi, I'm Josephine. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Three younger sisters? Yeah, Beatrice, Francis, and Kitchen. Yes. Well, this is why my wife is the oldest of five daughters. Oh, wow. You're the oldest of four daughters. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot you of know, girls. You know what's great about being a man who marries into a family with four or more daughters? What is it? Well, it's great about that. Yeah. Well, you know, I got married to my wife when I was 22. Yeah. And she's been my wife for 35 years. Wow. Yeah. the TV a lot and I'm like wow I'm actually talking to you I wish you the best of luck in your presidency and I hope everything goes smoothly God love you you are smart as a devil too aren't you you're 12 years old it's not like you're 22 years old oh, <laughs> <laughs> now where you guys live in Springfield Illinois yes Springfield, yeah, Springfield Illinois yes Nigeria are you from? I've been to Nigeria. Yes, uh, we are from um, uh, Ibadan. That is Oyo State. Yes. Yeah. Very, well, I'll be done. Yes, very close to Lagos well, State. Yes. Well, so. You know, Josephine, you know why America is so strong? Why is that? Because, for real. Because we're a nation of immigrants. We're all from all over the world. That's yeah. like your that's like your right. daddy's family had the courage to pick up and leave everything they knew and come to America. My great grandpops they, they got in a what they called a coffin ship in the Irish Sea to come to the United States of America way back in the eighteen hundreds when wow. when Catholics wow. weren't allowed very much in the United States. And so we're 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 a people who we, we were held together not by where we're from but what we believe. Yes. yes. And it makes us really so strong. That's, yes. That's why we're strong. Yeah, I know, like, like in history class, my teacher calls America the melting pot of, like, cultures and everything because there's so many people from different places bringing their culture to America. That's why it's so amazing. God love you. You are really smart. Thank you. <laughs> now, you got to remember me when you're president of the United States. <laughs> when, when, you, when you come to the White House, when I come to the White House, when you're president, they say, Joe Biden is outside. They <laughs> don't say, Joe who? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. What? Well, I, hope, I hope you guys will come and visit me in the White House when this oh. when, 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 when the virus calms down. Oh my goodness, that will be okay. historical because that will be, you know, that's my dream. We've never been there, even we've never been to, D, you know, DC, but we follow everything, you know. I've been looking at most of your videos when you were young, you know, as a young senator then in the 70s, <laughs> how you stood up, you know, uh, for black people. And I said, wow, I mean, this is well, not beginning right now. It has been, you know, in your uh, gene. It is running in your veins. So we really appreciate that. And uh, I know you're a man of your work. And that is more reason why we follow you all around, anywhere, whatever we do. And uh, I pray that God will give you the wisdom, the direction, you know, to do the right thing, you know, for American people and for the entire world. Because your position is a delicate position. And uh, that makes you to be the father of the whole world. And uh, you are carrying a heavy load, but God will help you to carry it. Well, I have, I have people like you praying for me, and I have people like you in this country who care so much about the country. Yes. And the reason I ran was because I thought we had to restore the soul of this country, yes. the kind of people we were. And that's why if you take a look at my administration, yes. 
we have more African Americans in positions of authority in the cabinet and other throughout. Wow. Yes. That's how I got involved in politics in the first place. Yes. My state was a state that was segregated by law. Mm. And uh, that's how I got involved, the segregating the state, and that's how I got involved in getting engaged in public life. That's why I ran. Wow. And, uh, and by the way, the only reason I'm a United States senator is because the African-American community, as my whole career, all the way back when I was a 29-year-old kid running for the Senate, wow. before I was old enough to be sworn in, you have to be, Josephine, you have to be 30 30. years old to yeah. be sworn in, but you're going to get elected before then yeah. if you wait till you get to be 30. Oh. And the reason I got elected was hmm. because my state, as the eighth largest black population in America, so wow. percent of population. Wow. Wow. And, and what happened was 96% of my state and the black community voted for me. Wow. Wow. And, wow. And so that's where, I, that's, where I, that, that's where my heart is. And that's, wow. Uh, wow. And, we, and we're going to make real progress, Josephine. <laughs> that's why I picked the first black woman ever to oh. be a vice president of the United States of America. Well, wow. Thank you. Wow. I was really happy when I saw that because, you know, it's a little bit of representation, you know, like seeing somebody who looks like me and like such a position of power. It's really it's really it makes me feel good. You know, on a lot of other black girls like me, seeing somebody who looks exactly like them on TV, on like in a place of power makes them feel really happy, you know. Well, you are really something else. Honey. I can't <laughs> really wait to meet you. And by the way. I have four granddaughters. Wow. And and they're crazy about me. <laughs> I'm crazy about them. you know what I used to say, Josephine? What they say? The time they were, when when they're time they're little babies, I they, their mommy and daddy would let me rock them to sleep and I'd say loud enough for everybody in the family to hear and I put them in the crib. I'd say remember your favorite person in the whole world is your pop. <laughs> Favorite oh, thank you, brother. Now, Say it again. Now, <laughs> now when the girls come up in front of everybody and say, girls, tell everybody who your favorite person in the whole world is. They'll say, pop. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm crazy about them. They're all going to be, and you'll see them on inauguration day when you look on television. Yes. Because I'm going to make sure they're standing right next to me when I get sworn in. Yes. As President of the United States. Good. Yes. 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 I'll be watching. <laughs> yes. Okay. You yeah. can hardly wait to meet you, honey. <laughs> that would be nice. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Hi. President Biden. Hi, Joe, Hello. President Joe Biden. <laughs> How are you, baby? Who is this one? Beatrice. Oh, 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 you're eight years old, Beatrice? Yes, I am. I tell you what, Doc, you're a lucky man. <laughs> lucky, lucky man. And now, you girls take care of your daddy, right? Yes. yes. We daddies need help. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. We need help. So you gotta, you, you got to help raise us. You know, it's hard raising the daddy. <laughs> you can do it, okay? Okay. okay. All right, well... Doc, it's a pleasure to talk to you, and even, I must tell you, a greater pleasure to talk to your daughters, and uh, there's nothing like a daughter. My daughter, <laughs> I have two daughters, I lost one in an automobile accident, but my daughter is a grown woman hmm. and a social worker, yes. and uh, and she is uh, she is the love of my life and the life wow. of my love. Aww. Wow. And she, and she's a social worker. She went to... Uh, undergraduate school and then she got her master's degree in social work and she works with troubled kids and boys and girls clubs and, and wow. helping out she's a great kid wow. and so one of these days i hope we can actually get you guys for real yes <laughs> right here i'm going to make sure that we figure out a way when you're able to travel to get you guys to the white house oh, oh that would be nice thank you, thank you. Here, that here, would be here, nice here, here comes the person where is she? I don't know where she's going now. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought it was my wife. So, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Dr. Jill, oh, yes. I want you to say hello. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Bye. 
doctor by she was a teacher. Oh. A professor. Yes. Oh my God. Uh, wow. And uh, Jill, I, I, I'm, I'm talking to Dr. OK, but I want you to know he has four daughters. I was telling him that you're one of five daughters. <laughs> you're the oldest. And Josephine, say hello to Dr. Biden, Mrs. Biden. Hello. Dr. Biden. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josephine. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Where do you guys live? We live in Springfield, Illinois. I'm Springfield, Illinois. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations on everything. I can't wait till you become the first lady. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Please make it, President Biden, please make it real. We would love to come, please. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. We don't say anything we don't mean. Wow. We don't say anything we don't mean. And wow. By the way, you know how your daddy, of all the people who contributed to us, oh. picked basically out of a hat somebody who is going to be the one we call and recognize. Oh. And that's why we called you today. Thank you. You made a five dollar contribution and a seven dollar contribution at a time when uh, actually donated twice to the inaugural committee. Yes. And so I want to thank you and hopefully uh, when things get squared away you can come and see us, okay? Yes. That would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. Thank you so much. Girl, uh, girl, girl, continue to said, hmm. raise, it's hard raising the daddy, but be patient with him, okay? Okay. <laughs> we will. We will. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, President. Thank you so much. God bless you. Dr. Biden, thank you so much. God bless you. God bless your family. Thank you. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.